Good evening and welcome to another Money Making Mom Scope. It's been a while since I've done a Money Making Mom Scope and so I'm excited to be joining you again at a different time than I've scoped for a while. Um, and tonight we're going to be talking about our blogging income streams and I'm going to be sharing um, the different income streams that we have, the percentages, and I'm going to be sharing also um, how we've been changing our approach in the last um, two years and how it has made a big difference and um, paid off. So welcome. So glad to have you all here. Get myself situated. Okay, so for those of you who are new, my name is Crystal Payne and I am the founder of MoneySavingMom.com. Hi, Karen. Um, hi, Jess. Um, I am also um, wife to Jesse, and we have three kids. Um, they are 11, 8, and 6. And um, we live in the Nashville, Tennessee area. And we have been self employed entrepreneurs um, together for a number of years. And I have been blogging for 11 years, making a full time income off of blogging, probably for around eight ish, um, eight ish to nine ish years. Um, and so I've learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes. And, um, I love to have the opportunity here on scope to share some of those mistakes and, um, some of those lessons that I've learned. Um, I'm also the author of the book, money making mom. And if you are interested in wondering how do, um, I make a full-time income from blogging. If you go to moneymakingmombook.com moneymakingmombook.com. Um, you can sign up for my free five-day course on how I make a full-time income from blogging. That also signs you up for our um, kind of behind the scenes Money Making Mom email newsletter that we send out once a week with a lot of tips and um, practical information to give you a real behind the scenes look on um, how we are running our blog and our business and the lessons that we're learning. So um, I wanted to show you, so I am speaking at um, Dave Ramsey's um, new business boutique um, conference. It is going to be in Phoenix and in the Dallas area um, in May. And um, as part of my speaking for that, um, they asked us if we would put together some, some graphs that showed all of my income streams. And um, we had so much fun doing this. And it was so great for us to just dig into the details. And, you know, we get these end of year reports and everything, but to put it in a pie chart and to put it in graphs, um, it really helps me to kind of have a different perspective. And I was, it was funny because for a long time, I've said that most, I would say like, I've said that 75 to 85% of our income for a number of years was from affiliate marketing. Well, it was so cool because in the last two years, we've made a very concerted effort to change that and to diversify and to not have all of our eggs in the affiliate marketing basket. And so it was really cool to see how those changes that we've made are paying off. So I wanted to show you, this is our 2015, um, I hope that you can see it. Oh, my computer is really, okay, I'm gonna turn this so that the light is not in the way. And we'll see if you can see this. I have this lovely light, the ring light, and it's not very good if I wanna show you something. And then you get to see how dirty my computer screen is as well. Okay, let me see if we can show you this. Okay, so here is the breakdown of our 2015 revenue streams. And um, as you can see, the blue is affiliate marketing. So yes, it is still a huge piece of the pie. But I was very encouraged because I wanna show you our 2014 pie chart or pie graph, whatever. This is fascinating. Okay, so our 2014 pie graph, the blue is affiliate marketing. Look how much larger of a percentage in 2014 it was than in 2015. And so in 2014, um, affiliate marketing was 74.4%. 74.4%. And the other streams of income that we had um, was an author advance. I wrote a book, so I had an author advance. Um, banner ads were 18.8%. Had a little bit of coaching income, conference cash sales, event income, product book sales, royalties received, speaking income, and sponsored posts. But really 74.4% was 
affiliate advertising. And then 18.8% was banner ads. So really almost all of it was from stuff on the sidebar and stuff on the blog. And so um, we made a lot of changes and, and I, the, biggest, the biggest change that I would say, the biggest chunk of um, income that we saw in making um, changes was from digital products. How long have I been working for myself? Um, I've been blogging for 11 years. So I'm making full-time income for blogging for about eight-ish years. You know, what people consider full-time can be a little bit different, so I would say eight or nine years. Um, do I want to eventually want to get rid of affiliate ads altogether? No, because it's still such a very strong income stream. It's so easy for us to do. We've automated it so much. Um, Meg on my team, who is my full-time executive assistant, she can do most all of that without any help from me because I've trained her to be like my clone almost. Um, and so it's been, um, you know, for us, it's very simple for to just keep that going, but we want to add to it as well because I think it's very wise that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, Marcy, I don't know what your question was. I'm really sorry if I missed it. Um, what website do I recommend for running your blog? Um, if that's what you're asking, if you go to moneysavingmom.com forward slash scope, I have a link on there to my um, long, long post on how to make money blogging, and I walk you through how to set that up and everything. Are the bulk of affiliate ads in my sidebar? No, they are in actual post. Um, we do not put affiliate ads on our sidebar. The reason is, is affiliate ads um, do not perform on sidebars like they will in a post. So you want to write a post that talks about this opportunity or this product and you want to do it in your own voice and you want to give your own stamp of approval and you want to do it in a very conversational manner as how you would write a blog post normally. So it's not something that's different or weird or out of the ordinary. It's your voice. It's your recommendation. It's your normal blogging voice. That is how we convert the most sales. The other thing is using the same technique, but in our email list. Our email list usually will convert significantly more than a blog post will. So we also use social media, but social media, most of the time, we're going to be pointing to those blog posts. So pointing to a blog post that is going to be written, again, in your own voice, sharing um, in the style that you would usually write and only about a product or an opportunity or a service that you absolutely love. So did the sales go up as affiliate st stayed the same? Yes. So our income, so the affiliate income has just kind of, it stays the same, but we were able to then bring in other forms of income that it was more significant. So then the affiliate percentage went down. Okay. So so in 2014, to recap, it was 74.4% was affiliate income, 18.8% was banner ads on the sidebar. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you 2015 so you can see this again. So you can see this again. So the blue then for 2015, the blue is affiliate advertising. And if you'll notice, then it was more, there. Are, there's more diversity here. And I was so excited to see that. And I think that 2016 is gonna be even more diverse um, if we stay on track like we've been. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but so in um, 2014, it was 74.4%. 2015, it was 58.1%. That's very, very significant. Because if you think, for years of me blogging, it was between 75 and 85%. So for it to go down from that to 58.1%, a very, very significant difference. And it wasn't that it went down, it was that the other numbers went up. And um, so, so the difference between 2014 and 2015 was online products, but I'll tell you. So my author advance, I, I wrote another book, got another author advance, um, or something the author advances come funky because you get you get multiple author advances and th you get them in three checks and so so it, you get them spread out over a long time period but anyway so author advance um banner ads were 15.6 percent so banner ads went down um and the reason for that is because banner advertising is not at all 
um, does not do what it once did. Um, a lot of companies have realized that sidebar advertising just isn't as effective. And that's why we've really started kind of um, batching our advertising opportunities. So we don't just, I mean, we will just sell a sidebar ad, but usually I'm gonna sell it as a package deal. So they're gonna get a blog post, they're gonna get social media, and they're gonna get sidebar advertising so that it's not just the sidebar advertising. Sidebar advertising is really great for brand recognition. So like you see that ad on there and you, you recognize that brand because you see that ad, but people actually clicking on those and clicking through and taking action on a sidebar ad, not at all as effective as it used to be. So 15.6% was our banner ads. Then, um, let me see which the, product and book sales was 19.5%. So product and book sales went up significantly. So almost 20% of our income from 2015 came from product and book sales. And that was out of nowhere. I mean, that was from basically nothing to 20%. I'm really hoping that 2016, it's going to be more like 30%. That's what I would love to see. And I think we're on track for that. Um, and that's really exciting to me because I just feel like it's so smart if you can have um, multiple streams of income that are really strong streams of income. So let's say tomorrow, all of a sudden, affiliate advertising just doesn't work anymore. If 85% of our income as it used to be was that, tomorrow we have a big problem. And so when you can diversify um, and it's pr proportionate and not all disproportionate, it's much wiser for you for the long haul. So 19.5% was from product and book sales and that would be our digital products like our makeover your mornings um, and our book sales. And then we also have journals, um, our gratitude journals. We actually have three now. Um, we have the kids one, we have this, um, the original Choose Gratitude Journal, and then we have the Choose Love Mother's Gratitude Journal. Um, so that was the so 20% was mostly the digital, but it was also the physical. Um, and honestly, I was blown away. When we did Makeover Your Mornings, um, when we launched that, it was a huge risk. Um, I will tell you, we invested about $30,000 to create that course, which was a massive risk for me. I'm very risk adverse, but I was like, you know what, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this well. So we're gonna bring in the film crew, we're gonna um, have it done really professionally, and we're gonna really you know, hire people to do it well. And so it cost us $30,000, and I had no idea if that was gonna be this huge, just sunk cost. But it ended up that we made all of that back times a few um, the first day. And so it was very exciting for us to realize that, oh wow, this was a great risk that we took that paid off. We had other risks that we took last year that didn't pay off, but um, that one was one. And so realizing that um, the investment was worth it because our return on investment was so significant. And so that for us was shocking. It was shocking to me that it did so well and it has continued to do so well. So if you want to check that out, um, that is at makeoveryourmornings.com. And if you're just curious and you want to know what is this course even like, you don't have any interest in making over your mornings, but you want to know um, about the course and how it's done for us. Um, if you um, scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can sign up for day one for free. And so you can see um, day one video, day one workbook, day one project to just get an idea. And we chose to not charge very much. We actually started the first day, we started the sale out at $5. And that was a huge risk. And people told us, you're crazy, you're ridiculous, you should be selling this for $69 or whatever. And I just said, no, people will not be able to afford it. And I want this to be accessible to all women everywhere. So we started out at $5 and um, it was like from midnight to five in the morning, it was $5 and then the price went up until the regular price is $17, which is a really fantastic price for a very high quality product that's 14 days long. But I want it, I want to be able to help as many women as possible. And so I feel like 
making it very affordable um, allows us to be able to make more of an impact. And I know that other people are called to do other things, so I'm not saying this is what everyone needs to do, but we're in a place where we can do this. And um, it's paid off so much. And so this risk that we took, that so many of the experts told us we were ridiculously crazy for investing that much money and then charging so little, it paid off in a big, big, big way for us. And so we're super excited. We're launching Makeover Your Evenings. It's I just finished the workbook and it's so close to being done and I'm so excited about it, you guys, because I feel like we learned so much from Makeover Your Mornings and so Makeover Your Evenings is gonna be hopefully 10 times better, I'm hoping. Um, but I'm really excited and we're really excited to be able to do the same thing. And so the on our launch day, um, we're going to do it for $5 for the first, you know, little bit, and then we'll um, raise the price because we just want it. Not only does it create a lot of fun and excitement for it, but also then it allows people who would never be able to afford it at $17 to be able to get in on the $5 um, level. And we'll, uh, we're also going to do, um, when we launched Makeover Your Mornings, we did, um, where we gave away 25% of all the income on the first day. We um, gave that away to South Africa and we built a two, two room classroom that we got to go and see then in October, which is amazing. Um, but so we are going to um, do that again and we have another big project that we're doing there and we're actually, I'm so excited, this is kind of a tangent, but we are, um, tomorrow, we are launching um, we're opening it up. So I'm taking, um, Lord willing, in um, September. We have 10 spots available to take 10 people with us to South Africa. And you're going to get to see not only those two classrooms, you're going to get to see what Makeover Your Evenings this, this year is going to build. And um, so we're going to take 10 people with us um, to go and get to see the work. And um, it's only $2,600 for everything. That includes flights, that includes lodging, that includes meals, that includes all of your transportation, everything for $2,600, um, which is an amazing price to be able to travel halfway around the world for a week. Um, but anyway, so um, that's tomorrow. So I know some of you were asking me when that was gonna happen. Um, that's tomorrow. And so I'm super excited about that. We only have 10 slots though, and I think they're gonna fill up pretty quickly. Um, so if we're taking applications, you can look for that tomorrow. Anyway, total tangent. But I'm so excited, so excited about getting to take people and see what this stuff, this, you know, I show you these numbers and you show these graphs and it's like, you know, yeah, that's exciting. But when you go there and you see the buildings and you see um, that, you know, these these projects, the $5 here and $5 there, it's like it's building buildings and changing lives and saving babies. It's amazing. Amazing. So anyway, total tangent, but I'm kind of excited about it. Okay. So um, there was also the, let's see, coaching, no, no, sponsored post was another thing, and we call them sponsored posts, but it's like an underwritten post. I don't, um, I write all the content, but then um, the sponsor will have paid us to put that on the blog, um, and so that was 3.3% of our income in 2015. I think that that number is also going to be a lot higher for 2016. So I think that we're going to see, um, hopefully, the um, project, the products is going to go up, and also the um, sponsor post, feature post, whatever we want to call those. I hate the word sponsor post because it just feels like somebody's putting words in my mouth, and I'm not really, I don't want that. But um, so that number is also going to um, go up as well, hopefully. And um, so then we're hoping that maybe um, our affiliate income will be more in the 50% range and those others, um, there's going to be more diversification. And our goal is just really eventually that affiliate income is about maybe 30% and it's still like a really strong source, but that the other sources are very strong. So um, we kind of have like the three-legged stool. Um, so anyway, that was a little bit of a squirrely scope, but um, I wanted to share that with you because we had so much fun putting these numbers together and just kind of seeing how changing our game plan and not just getting stuck and doing the same thing and the same thing and the same thing 
um, was is really making a difference and it makes you feel um, it's just encouraging to see this pie graph and be like, oh, wow, um, it actually is working. Yay. Um, so anyway, if anyone, um, if you, I'm, um, if you would like to see for me to, I can take a screenshot of this and I can tweet it at you. So, um, I am money saving mom on Twitter. So if you want a screenshot of this, I'd be happy to, um, send that to you. I should have uploaded it to my scope page. But anyway, if you're more, if you're interested in more tips on how to make money blogging, how to get started making money blogging, I have a whole comprehensive post that I did on that. Um, if you go to moneysavingmom.com forward slash scope, you can see that whole um, post there that walks you step by step through how I do that. And then also, um, you can sign up at moneymakingmombook.com. You can sign up for my free five-day course on how I make a full-time income from home. Um, for those of you who are wondering, how does she do this? How, how did she get started? Um, definitely check that out. And that will also sign you up for my free weekly newsletter, my Money Making Mom newsletter, which is where I share a lot of tips and behind-the-scenes stuff that you're not going to read on my blog. And it's just what I'm learning about running an online business and blogging. So anyway. Um, the percentage that we get from rental properties is not in our, that's a separate business. We have a separate rental property business. And um, so those funds go through a separate um, account and a separate business altogether. So this is only for the blog and that business. Um, we keep all that other stuff separate just for tax purposes. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening and hopefully I will be back on time tomorrow morning for our morning motivation show, but I'm going to hop off and then I'm going to do something new tonight that I've never done before. And it's going to be, I'm going to do a money saving mom, um, little, um, scope on the top deals for today. So if you're interested in, um, some money saving deals, be sure to hop back on in just a few minutes. Have a great evening.